Hi, it's Bridget. Welcome to Above Life Channel. The purpose here is to inspire your spirit and to fill you with hope. Today I have a few more questions for Freddie Mercury in the afterlife. If you love Freddie Mercury and you want to hear more, go ahead and check out the playlist at Above Life Channel for Freddie. All right, so the question that I have is, I was thinking about his birthday because it has been his birthday recently, as many of you had pointed out to me. And I was curious about his name. You know how like we don't really choose our names, our parents get to do that for us. And sometimes later in life, people actually change their names, right? And especially like in some of the circles I run in, people tend to change their name if they like are starting their own business and they are an entrepreneur and they'll use a business name versus their own name. Or some people do take on spiritual names, whether through like a naming ceremony or that kind of a thing. So people change their names later in life. And as we know, Freddie Mercury, he did that. So I'm going to ask him about his name. All right, so let's do that. Pretty simple, straight to the point. Come on in, Freddie. Okay, he says, you don't want to talk to me very long, do you? You don't want to talk to me very long. You just want to talk about my name? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he says, well, it doesn't really fit me anymore, does it? Like, I don't really need it anymore, do I? <laughs> we don't really need names in the afterlife. It's like once you, when you're a spirit, you have so many different names and the, there's such, there's so many, 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 many different names to choose from because you've been multiple people in multiple lifetimes. So there's lots of names to choose from. So the most, the most recent version of your name is Freddie Mercury. Can we, let's talk about that. So when you were born into this lifetime, you were born Farouk Balsara, correct? Yes. And that name is something that your parents gave to you and then you, but you changed it. And so I want to know why, why did you change it? Was it for professional reasons? Like you wanted something flashy <laughs> or was it for, were there other reasons why you changed your name? I mean, was it a personal thing for you? What, can you talk about that? He says, yes. And he's saying, um, so I'm feeling the information from him. Okay, so I don't feel him like, I can see him clairvoyantly, but he's not super close to me right now. He's a little bit farther away. And so I'm feeling the information now. That's the, the channeling. That's how, that's clairsentience. The psychic gift of sensing feeling. That's how most people, when they're psychic, are psychic. Or when you're using intuition, you know, you feel energy like that. All right, so... He's making me feel like there's nothing wrong with my name, he said, my, my given name, the, names, the name that my parents chose for me, there's nothing wrong with it. He said, and I could have, I suppose I could have used an adaptation of that. Nobody, uh, he says, I want to be clear, I want to be clear, it was my choice. It was my choice to change my name. I did not want to Oh, it's interesting. He's, he's making me feel like he didn't want to bring his parents into his work or into his persona as a, as a musician. Um, so, so what, was it a separation between your life as Farouk and what you'd known and grown up as in your childhood and your family and a transition into your public persona or fulfilling your dreams? Was it like a, a metaphor or a meaningful kind of a conscious thing that you did? He says, I suppose on some level, I suppose on some level it was, but it really wasn't all that um, deep or meaningful at the time. I, I just, I, I felt like it was rather practical to do that, to, and he says, and I suppose I could have used an adaptation that could have been like a, a shorter version of Farouk. I could have changed that and Balsara, we could have changed that too. We could have taken my name and moved it into different, you know. It really felt more like 
a choice that I made to step into my own, to really uh, take on the, uh, he's making me feel like, uh, to put almost like putting on a costume kind of a thing, like step into Freddie, Freddie Mercury. So does Far Farouk Balsara even exist? So when you transitioned into stepping into the persona of Freddie Mercury, was that because you had like an awakening and grew into Freddie Mercury? Or did you choose to, to, to step out of Farouk and into Freddie? Like, are there two people here, two personas, or is there just one? He says, well, there are both. He said, in tradition, there are both. It is not, it is not that I want, um, wanted to dissolve myself of my family. I, I, there is a lot of love and care with my family, within my family, and a lot of respect. And part of it, maybe part of it was me protecting that for them. But more, I think it was, it was quite practical, really. And it just seemed like the right thing to do. And... Um, okay, so I need to ask, I want to interject. Did other people suggest that you change your name? Yeah, he said, yes, <laughs> yes, absolutely, absolutely. Um, but it was my decision, it was my choice. So it wasn't like a record company said, hey, you need to change your name. He said, oh no, long before that, I, I, had, already, I had already come to the realization that the dreams that I had for who I wanted to be in the world was beyond Farouk Balsara's capability, <laughs> he says. So identity, so you're talking about identity. So I, I feel the sweetness about the family and like honoring the family or having a little bit of a respect for the family by then changing your name, but not because you were ashamed of Freddie Mercury or stepping into the rock and roll kind of full on, expressive nature of who you are, were and are, but it feels like, it kind of feels like a natural becoming to me anyway, as I'm feeling it. It doesn't feel like a this and that, and it doesn't feel like it was for promotional purposes or anything like that. It feels like it was just a natural kind of becoming. Is that, is that accurate? He says, you make it sound so, um, so important. <laughs> It wasn't really all that spiritual, he says, Bridget. At the time, it, it didn't really feel like a big monumental thing. It just seemed like the natural next step. It did not seem like a big spiritual awakening, he says. At the time, it did not, it did not seem like that at all. It did not seem like that. It just seemed natural. This is, what it, this is who I am. This is, you know, this is where I'm going. This is my dream. This is, I'm stepping into my dream. It's, it's like saying yes to the dream saying yes to the dream. I'm always so impressed, Freddie, with your ability to manifest and really um, as a creative spirit and a very expressive energy that you just have this ability to manifest. It's almost like you believe so strongly in yourself and who you are. So in thinking about identity, our names are such an important part of who we are. So choosing your name. So why Freddie Mercury? Why Freddie Mercury? Is there anything special in particular about that? He says, well, I've heard, I heard the name um, Freddie before and I liked it, I rather liked it. Um, and he he's refer referencing, I can't get the exact ping here, the exact connection. He's referencing somebody named Frederick something. So there's some kind of a feeling of a, a good looking, respectable man named Frederick something. And it feels like a, um, like it feels like genius, you know, very smart, very good looking, all of these attributes in Frederick and uh, Frederick, Frederick. Um, and, but he likes the casual feeling of, then what do your friends call you? Because to him, his friends, he, he wanted that intimate connection with his fans. So his fans were like friends. To, so Freddie's friends were his fans. Like there was an intimate connection, relationship, friendship there, buddy, you know, kind of a thing. So your friends will call you Freddie, right? They call you Freddie. 
and it feels young and kind of hip and so that that's the fit so that's what he's showing me so frederick feels important and genius and intellectual and smart and and good looking and all wear like a gentleman kind of a thing but then your, friend, your friends would call you freddie like the fun part of you when you're hanging out and you're having a good time that freddie okay and he says and mercury fast out of this world he said you said it dreamy you know just wow, sky's the limit not even the sky's not even the limit the universe not even the limit he says galaxy not even the limit like it just so beyond anything you know and it's a fiery planet you know so out of this world yeah that totally fits you guys doesn't it yeah that totally fits yeah very hot and just out of this world all right great okay so that's that's awesome freddie that's awesome so do you recommend us changing our names he's kind of playful he's like well i think i think people should do what they want to do if your name suits you oftentimes your name suits you but does that mean your life is predetermined predefined or predestined that it's set out for you and by changing your name it doesn't it doesn't automatically just change that then all of a sudden you have a new start he says it's really a, it's a mindset you know it's a, a, an embodiment you it ha, it's a full on thing it's not just by change simply changing your name it doesn't change your entire life if you are already on a trajectory where you are connecting to what it is that matters to you and your name doesn't fit you anymore, then you can choose a new one. If you if if that speaks to you, then you should do that. But he says, you know, at, at first it's kind of strange because it takes some getting used to and your friends and, and family and things, it, it takes some getting used to, but um, my, my parents always called me Farouk. So there was no, um, you know, and there was no need for them to call me anything else. You know, it, it was fine. It wasn't a, a disrespect or anything like that. And he said, at first it was a bit strange, I think, for people to get used to, but then after a while it was just normal. It's just normal. There's nothing different, you know? And then you really embrace the, all that it means for you and you define yourself, you know? I think it's up to people, individuals, you know? I don't think, I don't, th I wouldn't recommend it, but I wouldn't recommend against it either. I think it's a personal thing. You know, but your identity doesn't just come from your name either. There's so many parts of you that um, make up that, that identity, that expression of self. That's true. That's very true, Freddie. Yes. All right. So thank you. Wow. All right. <laughs> what a great conversation about names with Freddie Mercury in the afterlife here at Above Life Channel. Our purpose is to inspire your spirit and to fill you with hope. I hope that we've done that today. Remember, this is your life. This is your life. So live it. Just live it. Thanks for watching.